Hey, yo, leave the tea. Come on, come on, get out of here, Biglet. You're too fat. Screwing up our tea, man. We got lemongrass. We got all kinds of good stuff. Hey, don't lick him, boy. Leave him alone. So, Koopy, the tea here is all dry. Mm, all nice up, ready to go. They, they want the people. I want to dry some more. Mm. A little more sun today, and mm, then mm, that's it. Mm -hmm. So, can you point them out to me again? So, we've got uh, this one is I know the lemongrass is this one. Mm -hmm. Grass looking one, obviously. Cerise is this vine looking one. Mm -hmm. This is Cerise here. Yep. So, Cerise is also bitter blood. Mm -hmm. so looking nice. And this one is this the pimento? Pepper Hyla. Oh, pepper elder, that's it. I'm learning slowly. Yes, sir. So these are your pepper hyla there. This is your sir see. A few days in the sun. Mm -hmm. So it's been good, yeah? First few days on this trip, it was raining like crazy, and now we've got nice, nice weather. So this one I go. We gotta watch Biglet, little big piglet. I saw him trying to mash this up earlier. So yeah, go. Yeah, Keep an eye on the puppy. Let me hold dry it here, man. Yeah, we'll cut them up. After it dries. It's too high. Behind the scenes, we're setting up a what? What, Nico? We're setting up a little daylight studio so I can do some portraits today. And you know, so it'll be against black. And then white, what I mean by a daylight studio is we'll just put a little roof of a scrim over top mm -hmm. so it'll cut any of the sun and it'll make it a nice diffuse light. But we won't have any fake lights. Well, maybe we will later, but. <laughs> but anyway, this is too high because you can see if you're taking a picture of me, you know, yeah. it goes until here, right? Yeah. And I need it to go down to here. So my new idea is I'm gonna attach these things to the roof and then to the bottom, we're gonna like get the corners of the black Perfect. and we'll suspend it lower. That'll work. I, well, hopefully. <laughs> and these things are great. I got them at the dollar store and you know what? I can't find them anywhere now. Even on Amazon, I couldn't find ones that are this nice and great. Right? So dollar store or Dollarama, whatever it is in Canada, Bring these back, they're so good. Yeah, well, and then you got a long one and a short one. I kind of wish you had two long ones, but there, you know. There is one more. Oh, can I have another long, is it a long one? Yes. Good, <laughs> great. All right. Here, hold this, Koopy, <laughs> thanks. All right, let me get that one for you. Well, thank you. Oh. Team Ross Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got one more for Nico. This is a light I had here, I left it here like two years ago. It's a little dusty, crusty, but it should work for the effect that we're trying to do. Don't mind my nasty toe in the shot. All right, there we go. Excellent. I can't tell what length it is, but it looks decent anyway. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's how the pros do it. Mm. This is Breadfruit Girl. She's a stray that got brought here by a guest. And we've been trying to keep her alive by feeding her. The other dogs don't like her very much, eh, Nico? She is cute. She does keep trying to get in the huts. And she's definitely looking healthier than earlier in the week. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, she is breadfruit girl. But unfortunately, the other dogs don't like her. So I don't know, Koopy, you don't like this dog, eh? No. But Moko, again, he's like, let them live. Don't let anything suffer. So 
If the other okay. dogs, if the other dogs get her, unfortunately that will be the demise. But for now, she's looking pretty good. As scruffy as you are, breadfruit girl. Here's a little scruffy. Yeah, we call her breadfruit girl because she eats breadfruit. The other dogs eat all the food, and she only gets the stuff no one wants. 